Western media coverage of Africa is not without controversy. Some say the coverage is often only negative or fails to fairly represent Africa. Johnson Aranda asked some broadcasters and media analysts for their perceptions about media coverage of the continent. A war zone, poverty ravaged, people dying from starvation, devastated by disease, governments defined by violent rigged or stolen elections. Through the lenses of the Western media, these are the images of Africa. But Africa is also blessed with immense natural resources and wildlife and a climate like no other. A lot of people still view uh, Africa in terms of charity in the, in the West, whereas uh, they, want, they want to be compelled to, to, to help Africa, to save Africa. They still have this view of Africa, that Africa is dependent on foreign aid. And uh, when they see a story about Africa, they expect it to fit that mold. But the issue goes much deeper than these expectations. What obligations do Western journalists have towards Africa, and should they? Frank Cessna was a broadcaster at the CNN cable network before becoming director of the School of Media and Public Affairs at George Washington University. Western journalists, especially in the United States, must, if we're going to do our jobs right, reflect the globe in the term globalization. And Africa is a part of that. It always has been a part of that. In the executive offices of major news organizations, decisions about what stories from Africa to cover may be driven by revenue. That's according to VOA Straight Talk Africa host Shaka Sali. Focusing on famine, focusing on drought, uh, focusing on civil war, uh, those types of things. But those are also things, uh, they will argue, uh, which tend to interest their audience and therefore um, the advertising money. Sentiments shared by Frank Cessna, who lays the blame on the feet of the executive editors and producers of these news networks. How, how many newscasts, network newscasts, have I seen in the United States where there's a story out of Africa that isn't about, you know, death, mayhem, poverty, HIV, AIDS? Nico Coleman covered Africa for Voice of America for six years. A lot of the blame uh, goes to the, the big media outlets uh, that cover out Africa, and as well as a lot of the editors back at headquarters. VOA's Shaka Sally sees a way that Africa might get better balanced coverage from Western media. To be reflecting the reality of what is going on on the ground in Africa, I would suggest that it should be told by the daughters and the sons of Africa. But those would be the daughters and the sons who are not only Africans, but who have actually become socially and politically conscious. There is one thing that is always almost true about news and especially foreign reporting. Foreign journalists are always uh, very negative about whatever country. Most news is negative by its nature. That's the nature of the business and it's human nature. And according to these reporters, changes in the coverage of Africa by the Western media probably won't be happening anytime in the near future. Johnson Randa for VOA News, Washington.